get the honor. You get the praise. And for that, we say thank you. I thank you, God, for those who have lost their mothers and have gone on, God. But in spite of God, we give you praise for yet another Mother's Day. We thank you, God, that the joy you remains to be our strength. I pray now, God, that you will keep our minds, God, that we will tune back into your word, God. Lord God, that the word that comes forth on today will be a good word, God. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting out imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bringing every thought into the obedience of Christ on today. We thank you, God, that our bishop and first lady are in the house today. Touch their bodies now, Father, in the name of Jesus, as only you can. I pray, God, that as they continue to go out, that you'll be with them, that you'll stand by them, God, that they're about your works and doing what you called them to do. I thank you, God, that we as the people that are here are still able to carry on the bloodstained banner. We thank you for those that are coming in, God, for the harvest is ripe and the labors are few, God. I thank you for willing workers in this season, God, creating us a clean heart and renew the right spirit within us. Cast us not away from your presence, oh God, but take not your Holy Spirit from us today. I thank you for your joy this morning. You are our strength. You are our redeemer. We thank you for the spirit of you in this place, God. Stir us up, God. Anything that's not like you in us, take it out now, Father. In the name of Jesus, have your way. Lift every heart now, God, every burden off of us, Jesus. I pray, God, that you would have your way in here, God. Lord God, that we wouldn't leave the same way we came. Cain, God, I pray that you would touch families where there's any issues and dissension, God. Bring us back to our rightful places in you, God. I thank you, God, for your love that all foul ground is broke up now, Father, in the name of Jesus. I came against any issues, God. Right now, in the name of Jesus, have your way, God. You do it as only you can. I pray, God, that you would keep our children, Lord God, wherever they go, whether they're in sports, whether they're going to school, whether in daycare or a, pro a program at school, God, cover our babies now, God. Keep their minds stayed on you, God. I know that the enemy tries to pluck them up, God, but we know that if we give them to you, that you have full control. I pray for those who have lost loved ones and had to bury them even on yesterday and even today. Lord God, give them the heart of you, God. Stir them up now father in the name of jesus strengthen and encourage them now touch those in the hospitals and nursing homes and prisons and in facilities god lord god that they will get the touch from you i feel you all today god do what you came to do and have your way god we love you we magnify you go with us this week god stand by us lead and protect us god you are our strength, God. You are our redeemer. Touch this nation. Lord God, that we will come back to you. Stir us up now, Father. Have your way. Have your way. It's in Jesus' name I pray with thanksgiving in my heart. We say amen and amen. Come on and clap your hands and give God praise this morning. Hallelujah. All ye people. Hallelujah. Clap your hands, all you people. And the word says, shout unto God with a voice of triumph. Anybody grateful? Hallelujah. For another day that the Lord has allowed us to see. Hallelujah. And we will rejoice and be glad in it. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. That the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Help me sing this is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. The Lord has oh, made. Me rejoice. I will rejoice. I, rejoice. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord 
grateful for the Lord God, being able to do everything but fail, the kind of God that does anything but change. Hallelujah, Jesus. We came to give him glory, and we give his name great praise. Hallelujah, Jesus.
your body, the one that saved your life, the one that's protecting your children, the one that's keeping your heart, the one that saved you from sin, the one that keeps making blessing over blessing over blessing, even when we don't deserve it, he yet remains faithful unto us, and for that alone he deserves a faithful praise. Come on and magnify him. Bless him. Come on, bless him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. David declared, I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praise shall continually to be in my mouth. We're going to move on. It's obvious y'all didn't come to have church. Y'all trying to get to dinner for Mother's Day. So we'll move right on with the word of God. Be seated, please. I said be seated. We'll move on so you can get to the diner. I see you have other things that are more pertinent to you than to bless the name of your Savior. Don't y'all fool with me today. Hallelujah. I said, don't you fool with me today. Has he been good to you? I said, has he been good to you? Then you ought to act like it. Woke you up this morning. Clothing your right mind. Reasonable part, portion of health. Glory to God. Somebody didn't wake up this morning. Somebody lay down last night to have plans for the day and did not wake up. And we come into the house of God like he owe us something. No, baby, we owe him something. The clapping of our hands, the lifting of our hands, the opening of our mouth. Because if it had not been, if it had not been, for the Lord who was on my side. Hallelujah. Y'all want to say, I don't know where I'd be. That's a lie. That's a lie. If it had not been for the Lord, you'd know where you'd be. You'd be in somebody else's bed this morning. You'd be in the hospital somewhere. You'd be in prison somewhere. But thanks be to God. I said, thanks be to God who made heaven and the earth. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Go on somewhere. Ah, glory. Woo. Mother Walker, if I had 10,000 tongues, I said if I had 10,000, I couldn't thank them enough. Hallelujah. Couldn't wave my hand enough. Glory to God. Hey. I'll let nothing, woo! I said, I'll let nothing separate me from the love of Christ. I'll let nothing stop my praise. I'll let nothing hinder my worship. I'll let nothing separate me from the love of God. I don't care what it is. I don't care who it is. God has. God has been too good to us. I said he's been better. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Did you miss me? I said, did you miss me? You sit here because we got technical difficulties and you can't press past stuff. The devil is alive. Hallelujah. Lest we forget, there was a time we didn't have all these accoutrements. Lest we forget, we didn't have the luxuries that we have now. But we put our hands together, put our feet on the floor.
lift my voice. Hallelujah. All right, be seated. I just had to make sure I was back in power. That's all. Glory to God. Shut up. How? Can y'all can y'all do me this favor real quick? I promise, Mother, I'm gonna move. Cause I know y'all got Mother's Day plans. Uh, no, we're not. Hush that up. Hush that up. You should have did that when you were up here. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Y'all sitting up here looking all strange. And the Lord's up here answering my prayers. I said, y'all looking a little strange. And the Lord answering my prayers. I need about four of y'all to shout out breakthrough. Help! I said, help! I said, breakthrough. Oh! That's it. You got to say it sometimes, even when you don't feel it. Life and death resides in the power of your tongue. Hallelujah. I know you're bound, but your mouth got to say you free. I know you sick, but your mouth got to say I'm healed. I know you going through, but your mouth got to say I'm already out. You got to speak a thing. You got to decree a thing. Hallelujah. And then just praise God in the middle while he do the work. Hallelujah. All right, be seated. Uh, ow!
Try this again. Praise them, Toya. That's how you dance when you got 800 credits. You don't need music when you got good credit. Because what God won't do, your signature will. I said, what God won't do, your name will. Don't y'all fool with me today. Go. Oh. I feel the Almighty today. I said, I feel the Almighty. Ooh. Honey, write, write that down for me, honey. I'm going to use that later. It'll come to my praise. What God won't do, my credit will. <laughs> I know y'all don't like that. <laughs> Hallelujah. I want to thank God today. Who is the author and the finisher of my faith. Who is God. With me when I was born. It will be God that is with me when I die. He is the one that gives me strength to work the middle. And as long as I have strength, I'll praise them in the time. Now the praise is always in order. Hallelujah. Praise them in season. And out of season. Thank you. Hallelujah. Two. Amen. Fit to pray. To praise King. Amen. To these musicians. Mother's here. Happy Mother's Day. What's camera, Cleo? To you mothers at home, you mother. I want to say Happy Mother's Day to you as well. This is your day. We honor you. We salute you. Carlifa's not here anymore. Amen. Maisie Louise sleepeth. Ida Carr sleepeth. Christina Manley sleepeth. Arlene Harris sleepeth. But we thank God for all of you, you women of God. Hallelujah. Some of you are biological mothers, and some of you have been spiritual mothers to many of us. And we honor you on this day. All of you single mothers, I salute you. Glory to Shawnees, I salute my soul. I salute you, Lexi, April, all of you, Toya, I salute you. For what the world say you can't do, you are yet proving them bastards a lie every week, every month, every year. You're doing it the best you can. Hallelujah. Yes. Oh, I know I'm right about it. Some stuff sometimes. Oh, praise them, Cleo. 
Hallelujah. See, that's how you know you got God. I don't need stuff. I just need an opportunity. I said, I just need a chance. Shout up to 75 in a minute. Uh, Bishop says, pay your cash app. So if you're at home and you're a mother, please let us know your cash app or your, or your mailing address. Uh, because I wanted to do something this year. We don't really want to give anybody no flowers. Anybody no candles. bottle of wine, I don't know, whatever you want to do, <laughs> but I wanted to do something because we have gift cards for all of you mothers today, and uh, I wanted to do something, yeah, yeah, <laughs> you, don't, you, don't, you don't have to have 3,000 members to be mega seven. I wish I felt like preaching. I'm tired. But I, I, could, I could preach a message from the text of Jesus, the multitude, and the boys' lunch. And the title of my message would be, There's a Blessing in the Leftovers. Now, I can't preach that kind of preaching. Some of y'all, some of y'all want the first cut. Oh, but if you could just hang around a little while. I just talk a moment? Can I just, am I doing all right? Ruth would have never found Boaz. <laughs> she was bent over. Y'all don't like this kind of talk. She was bent over. Picking up the left. Tell God anyway. Bless you. Be seated. 
Joshua. Joshua, the sixth chapter. I also do bless God for you. We, we, we honor you for holding it down. Listen, I want to say this real quick as we go to Joshua, the sixth. Thank God for all of you in your prayers. Uh, I miss you guys. As much as y'all miss us. yourself. Because every time a preacher came here, they talked about the apostolic call that was on your leader's life. And I sat there and said, no, no, no. Ah, ah, yeah. what, you, what you see now is nothing but a manifestation of an apostolic call that's on our life. There's a book called The Seven Mountains Thank God for all of you. Got a few more days left. Got a few more days left. Promise if you could just hold your peace just a little while longer. You guys will have me to yourself sooner, sooner than later. Joshua, the sixth chapter, starting at the first verse. Listen, we're going to read one through five, and then we're going to jump down to 16. If I don't get done this, just because... And then we'll pick up the secondary aspect of the sermonic presentation next week. No, I'm tired. <laughs> now Jericho was straightly shut up because of the children of Israel. None went out and none came in. The Lord said unto Joshua, see, I have given you into thine hand Jericho, the king thereof, and the mighty men of valor. And ye shall accomplish the city, all ye men of war, and go round about the city once. Thus shalt thou do six days. Seven priests shall bear before the ark seven trumpets of ram's horn. The seventh day ye shall accomplish the city seven times. And the priests shall blow with the the priests shall blow with the trumpets. It shall come to pass that when they make a long blast of the ram's horn. When ye hear the sound of the trumpet, all the people shall shout with a great shout, and the wall of the city shall fall down flat. The people shall ascend up every man straight before him. Verse 16. It came to pass at the seventh time, when the priest blew with the trumpet, Joshua said unto the people, Shout, for the Lord hath given you the city. The word of God is blessed. You may be seated. I want to talk today at the subject, you understood the assignment, the power of call and worship. The power of call and worship. Father, it is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. It is necessary for every believer Jesus 
only it is through the voice of God that we listen. It is through the voice of God that I hear you preach. Anything that you want is beyond your reach and beyond your imagination is from God. And God should bring you, God will cohesively pull together. In other words, you can't get anything from God unless you get rid of God. We must, oh, I, I'm going to get in trouble. Uh, we must understand that all things that we have are not from God. Identify with that and just act as if it's God will ever do. There were some things God had nothing to do with. <laughs> but we do not identify with those things. We don't have to identify with those things. We can get rid of those things. Because when physicality goes out the door, I've got to maintain my physical integrity so that put it back, put it into it back. I know what God wants. Because sometimes, let me get this clear, the background of this particular, I'll shut up, the background of this particular text, the people of Israel, Brother Walker had just gone through Joseph being taken as a slave of Canaan is the land on which the slave trade originated. And so Canaan was the land that was promised to the predecessor Abraham or Abraham 500 years earlier. I think I got to catch up with you people because we got to make sure we have the, the context to this revelation. It was, it was in this place that God promised Joshua that if the place their foot would tread upon, he would that would sustain them, not just for the moment, but for eternity. This land would not just be for time in season, but it would sustain them out of season. Jericho, you must understand, was a walled city. Many before them were unsuccessful in overcoming it. Jericho had a wall around it that those who tried to it would not be able to penetrate it. No, no matter how high you would go, you couldn't get over it. No matter how low you dug down, you couldn't uh, get over this. Uh, uh, statistics that shall show that this wall was about 11 feet high and 14 feet wide with a stone throw to each end. Uh, in other words, whatever you threw at it would fall back on you. I'm rubber and you glue. Whatever bounce off me gonna stick to you. So this city, are you with me today? Was set up or designed that whoever would try to come against it, uh, whatever they tried, would backfire or reverberate back to them. Kind of like if you keep your hand in God's hand, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Ooh, and the people tried to. or overtake this city by fire and by tunnel. Are you with me here? But what is the difference in this attempt? It was led by God, and it was surely foolish, which required You know, you, you got to have faith to do 
see something that others have never seen and have never felt. You've you got to have some kind of faith and belief to step out on the planet you're living in and hear the voice of God and do what God has called you to do and expect God to meet you there when others have not. Let's listen to what God has said this morning. God said to walk around the walls of Jericho one time for six days. And on the seventh day, walk around seven times and blow the trumpet and shout with the great shout. said, walk around the walls of Jericho one time for six days. And on the seventh day, walk around seven times, blow the trumpet, and shout with a great shout. First six days, how many times did they walk around? One time every day for six days. How many times on the seventh day? Seven times. Okay, so 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 seven and six is thirteen. That's good math. All right. God 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 didn't say. The first day, hurry up and get it out the way so you can rest for the rest of the week. God, God, God didn't say take 13 divided by 7, which gives you two point something. Walk around Jericho twice a day because you don't want the people to get tired on the seventh. Oh, this is good preaching in church. Are y'all walking with me? Good, you know, you know how it is when we hear God and God speaks with specificity. But then you take what God says and you begin to shift it for your own aggrandizement. One time, one day, six days. Seven times, one day, then what? Blow the horn, then what? Shout. Ain't no horn the first six days. Now, some of y'all want to blow the horn on Monday. We want to shake the very foundation. We gonna, I know what we're going to do. We're going to sign an elder. Trumpet of death. Oh. Do you understand the assignment? Embracing it and executing it isn't an inconvenience if you're in trouble. I said, when you understand the assignment, embracing it, and following it through, isn't it unconvenient? I'm going to write it down. Oh, my goodness. Well, we got to cut the grass and ain't nobody going to the back. While we got to replace the light bulb in the bathroom, it's only one blown out. It's still six more lit. (laughs) 
when you under God ain't gonna help you. You understand the assignment, embracing it, and executing it. It's not an inconvenience. It's a it's a process. It's a cohesion. Let's go back to the book of Joshua. Joshua. My oldest say, Joshua had an ear in tune with the voice of his wife. Joshua's ear was in tune with God. The will to embrace God's instruction. And the heart to execute his instruction. See, what my wife says, I know what God has. My assignment, the money you get to smoke this weed. The God that keeps me with a job when you can't keep one. Take care of our children and the ones you had by Shirley and Danita. Refuse anymore. Say, I need a loving wife. For you to say anything to keep me from my service to God. Y'all don't like this kind of talk. Joshua heard the voice of God while submitting to Joshua heard the voice of God while submitting. I'm getting ready to cuss now. Because submission is a cuss word these days. Don't nobody want to submit to nothing because you just as grown as the pastor. You, matter of fact, I'm old enough to be the pastor's pappy. I'm old enough to be the pastor's grandmama. He, he, oh. Warm it up, Chuck. That's it. That's it. When it get good to you, D, say, warm it up, Chuck. Hallelujah. Warm it up, Chuck. There you go. Joshua submitted to his leader to one day lead in service. Y'all do know this is the same Joshua that Abraham sent the 12 out to spy out the land. Joshua that came and came back with a report. It was kind of dissimilar to the report of everybody else. They said it was grapes over there bigger than my head. But then the ten of them talk about, oh yeah, they, we all see the same thing. But we be not able. Joshua and Caleb said, shut your mouth. If God said it. Sometimes you got to tell somebody, shut your mouth. The bishop said it. Hallelujah, we ain't going to get no help today. We want a shouting, shouting message, but sometimes you got to get some instruction. If your leader says it, submit to the will of God. Saw what others saw. Only Joshua and Caleb had a heart to do what others would. He stood, they ain't saved like this. I was just saying, they ain't saved. He stood as a sign 
of optimism and hope for what God could do if the people would only trust and obey. tell you to cook. That don't mean hungry man. That mean your man is hungry. Joshua had a heart to submit when others would example of how God could sustain and keep and make the change. Isn't it amazing how the short how after Abraham you only hear about Joshua about those that said ye be not dismayed. The Bible doesn't even name them by name. We be not dismayed. I would suggest to you this afternoon that you trust in God. Never say what we can't do. Rather say, if God said it, and my leader sanctions it. Whether I understand or identify, that's all it is. His commitment to God, his love for people, his faithful service. As his leader and his praising open the door for blessing. Not only Can I try it again? Can I try it again? Not only Not only 
was it just for him? But for those who would submit to his leadership and service, power in praise, our next level of healing and deliverance, our next level of blessings beyond measure is attached to our ability to obey God and serve. I'm almost out of here. When you understand your assignment, mm. participating in the call of God and his response shouldn't be a source of pain, but rather of pride, privilege, and pleasure. I said when we understand the assignment of God should not come with heartache and headache, but rather of pride, privilege, and pleasure. In other words, I don't serve because I have to. I serve because I get to. I don't serve because somebody is making me, but I serve because it's my pleasure. And when God finds pleasure in me, I can have what I want. I can do what he says. And I can be what he called me to be. <laughs> Summary of receive and respond. God gave clear instruction to Joshua. Joshua gave clear instruction to Israel. He didn't reveal all of the instruction until it was necessary and timely. They traveled to the city every day for six days. Didn't take a break in between. Didn't have a rest day. Didn't have a time out. But they were willing and obedient. Didn't say a single word. They just walked around the city one time. About a half of a mile carrying the Ark of the Covenant. Didn't di differ, didn't try to augment what the Lord has spoken. But on the seventh, seventh day, they walked around seven times. The first few days, it was only about a half a mile. But on this day, it was about three and a half mile journey. No murmuring, no complaining, no trying to find a shortcut. Just willingness and obedience. The priests, oh God help me here, blew their horns at the final time around and the people lifted their voices and began to shout, shout unto God with the voice of triumph. Shout like you believe what God said is coming to pass. Shout like it's already done. Sometime in a believer's life, you got to holler till it shakes. The foundation of everything around you. 
Shout till demons tremble. Shout till cancer dries up. Shout till the aneurysm begins to dissolve. Shout till the blood clot begins to move. Shout till the law saves your children. Shout, I say, till the midnight turns the day. Shout till whatever was broken gets put back, back together. Every now and then, you got to holler till the law hears you. Holler till the law hears your cry and dispatches an angel to come and see about you. Shout. And the Bible declares that the walls came down once and I'm out of here. God gives an assignment. Giving up or going forth is your choice. I said once the law gives an assignment. Giving up or going up is your choice. The Bible doesn't mention the children of Israel complaining about the walk in the wilderness. Complaining about the weather outside. Complaining about having to get up early or carrying the Ark of the Covenant. Having to scream until the walls came down. They never said a word because they listened to their parents complain. They watched the predecessor complain and they watched them die in the wilderness. Power! We have examples that are before us of those who murmured and complained. Let us not take the low road, but let us be willing and obedient to what the Lord has said. I'm ready to receive the promise of God. And when I get the promise of God, I, I'll receive the provision from the law. I'll receive the peace meant for me. Say it. It's not my opinion. It's not my way. But whatever. 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 That lot thou hast taught me to say it is well with my soul. Hurting, but it's well. Pain, but it's well. Confusing, but it's well. Say it! Joshua. Joshua. He understood his assignment. Time being more important than this season.
trying to figure out what I'm doing. Like, let me help you. Yeah, Tom, I don't know what I'm doing. Now, now, can you shoot the stage for me? How he, shut up. How he gonna be the pastor and the bishop and don't know what he's doing? I got Bible. The just shall live by faith. We walk by faith and not sight. Could it be you're in what you're in because you applied sight and not faith? Could it be you have what you have because it looked good? And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not talking about relational here. Like, like, Palm Bridge, we got to grow up past su superficial things. And, and if you think I'm talking about you, then yes, I am. Yeah, because you fit. Because where I come from, if it, if it don't apply, you better fly. If you think I'm talking about you, it's either confirmation or you got to do it. That's up to you to figure out which one. Ain't to me. God is trying to take us to a place but we have to understand the why. If you think all it is to your life is a punch in the clock to five years hanging out with your friends and family for one night coming to church you might tithe, you might go home and do it all over again. You have missed God. Anybody see the video on this thread? It talks about getting off on Friday from work and then the man comes in his house. You see it? He jump in the bed and he's not even in the bed a split second. He jumped back up like Monday here. Like it talks about how fast the weekend went. responsibility on the pastor, first lady, the deacons, the elders, the ministers, but you don't want no responsibility. What is your assignment? Watch this. Not just the power and praise. What is your assignment to the kingdom of God? Because when you understand your assignment, it makes mine easy. Jesus didn't say to the disciples, go ye into the temple and make disciples of disciples already. Go re-disciple them. Go regurgitate their training. He said, go ye. Tony 
somebody in your class that you say graduated from go golf. I know you like Bishop, I don't know who it is though. Ain't many people do that. Somebody been watching you all through. They've been watching you all through how you carry yourself. And through your life. You have never come to fire and praise, they'll never tell you. Next thing you're gonna be doing somebody's hair. to beautify themselves because they've never did it before. Never did it before. You don't do it here. You don't do it here. You don't use your gifts. You don't honor your gifts. But you have a job. No, no, no and, and see, see, we thinking you got to be at the shop talking about, girl, I read in Habakkuk. Girl, did you see what Obadiah did? <laughs> Girl, let me tell you what Mephibosheth did. Have you found out? Do you know what a, what are you doing? I mean a genuine, how you doing that? You know what that'll do to somebody that's depressed? Wasted, we wasted years having great church, but who have we impacted? Who we impacted? You're fussing, you're cussing, you're fighting, you're sucking, you're ducking, and doing everything you've grown enough to do. But who have you impacted? And, and the people were saying, girl, girl, how you do that? I'm so glad you are. <laughs> Take time. This is y'all don't like that guy at golf. This is some of y'all. You're going to pay your bills and might get around the pay. the proverbial light if all this church does is shout and dance till time to get better I failed as a leader and if we continue to just shout and dance and we shut it down my hands gone because I can't run with the mark of a dog some of y'all have been in 10 plus years and you still at the place you've been you was when you first came to this church quiet here. You got to understand what God is doing. If you don't shift, then things get rough. And if things get rough, you pull the ark of the spirit down. You shift the atmosphere. The atmosphere don't shift you. What is your assignment? We don't need no more intercessors. No, no. Let, let me tell y'all something. Every time I say I ain't throwing off on nobody. No, I'm not. Y'all just think everything I 
out there. It's funny, like it's a joke and stuff. Like, no, nah, I'm being serious. We don't need no more intercessors. We don't need no more bishops. I'm telling y'all right now, the only reason I wear these preaching frocks is because the COVID weight done caused me the buttons right here on my shirt I can't button it. Oh, but one day. I said, one day I said. We want to dress in regalia and ain't got nothing. But the white church up the street dressed in holy jeans and a t-shirt. They call him Pastor Bob. I'm watching Elder Pat so you can be the, oh, no, no it, there'll never be another. That's what we. That's what we've done. That's the church. That's what the church has done to us. We model what we see, and we replicate it. But that ain't our assignment. What is your assignment? My, 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 my wife told me she's talking about getting ready to go back to school or something. Get your license to do real estate or something like that. Or you already did it or something like that. It'd be pillow talk. We'd be talking. Man, we talking all kinds of stuff. Whatever it is, you got to do it. We've already been talking. We, I don't, I don't, what I'm getting ready to say don't mean as much right tomorrow. How, what better person to have on my staff than somebody I trust with my money? She himself and worrying about cars and limos and stuff like that. Oh, she's a realtor. You get on the plane and go to Cleveland and make sure that house is straight. Not me. You get on the plane and go to Michigan to make sure. Not me. Know what I'm talking about? I just say, hey, put the clip on. I'm talking kingdom. Mother at the hospital praying for everybody. Her and sister Hope praying for Lottie, daughter. Are oh, you sick? Let me lay hands. Matter of fact, I ain't even got to touch it. I can speak it, and my word will go in your hospital room. No church full of shouters and dancers, and ain't got nothing. It ain't nobody else going to say it, but I'm going to say it. If you're a member of the church, stop talking about me. Your assignment is to shut your mouth. You're sitting around dinner table talking about me and my wife is trifling. I said it. I said it. You're trifling and you got a demon. I said it and I meant it. Don't say I'm your pastor and my wife is your first lady and you talk about us like dirty dogs in the street. Because you ought to know, and I've been telling y'all this for years, a dog that'll carry a bone or bring a bone. Something wrong with you if you lie on what cover you. And I ain't just talking about me and my wife. Don't you call nobody bruh and sis and you talking about them. Now, hold on, hold on, let me preach. Let me preach. Hear ye, hear ye, order in the court. Speaking truth to power is not talking about a person. Speaking truth to power is not talking about a person. If you trifling and you call trifling, you can't get upset because you trifling. You do trifling things, you're trifling. If you lay down on your back broke and you get up and got to put money in your pocket, you what you are. You can't get mad. It's a title for that. It's good preaching, Bishop. I mean, if you're going to understand your assignment, at least do it to the best of your ability. We don't talk about one another that we call brothers and sisters. You fake and you phony. And one thing that I found, let me tell you something. One thing that I found out over the last seven, eight weeks of my life, folk in the world ain't like folk, church folk. I'm talking about multimillionaires look just like us. They're gonna speak their mind. They're gonna tell you gonna know where they stand. They ain't gonna bruh you and sister you if they, if they don't fool with you. If they don't if, if they don't rock with you, they, don't, they speak how you doing, how you doing, they going about their business. We breaking we breaking bread with folk that we don't like and no don't like us. I ain't got time in this season of my life to be uh, that's not my assignment. I don't need no more friends. Mother, I don't need no mother, I don't need no more friends. I don't need at this I'm 50 years old and I've been 
COVID. I don't need no more friends. I need another business. You know how many LLCs I got now since I've been sick? About 15. It was 11. It was 11. We got four more over the weekend. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to do this thing by example. Everybody in this church ought to have a business. You have to have a business. Monetize something you do. Because <laughs> some of y'all been doing some stuff they've been getting paid for. <laughs> y'all didn't like that one. You can say you for free. You can say you for free. Oh, God, I'm telling you. The saints, the, 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 the saints of old. Still some stuff I need to learn. I still some stuff I need to learn. Stuff I gotta learn to say. Uh, 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 did y'all hear me? What I said? Before God formed you in your mother's womb. Before, be, before you was formed in your mother's womb, watch this, and I'm done, I promise. Am, am I in the book? Take a look. Before you was in your mother, up in Jeremiah, right? Before you was formed in your mother's womb, I knew thee and ordained thee a prophet to the nation. That speaks to understanding the predestined assignment that was on your None of us were born by happenstance. So what? So 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 what? Your mom and daddy ain't together. None of us were born by happenstance, and all of us that were born were born with an assignment. But you have to know what it is. Good praise ain't your assignment. Cause the Bible says, "Let everything that got breath praise the Lord." Sister Mary, you can come in here drunk as a skunk in a bunk and without praise some of y'all. So that's not your assignment. If you died today, can you go to sleep knowing you impacted someone's life? Hear me clearly. Not got them saved. Not got them delivered. See, y'all trying to swing for the fences. Just have you impacted? I got Bible to back me up. One plan, one water. But God, give the increase. Just get on first base. Just get them on first base. Let God do the work. Thank y'all. I'm done. I'm going to pray and I'm going to be out of here. But thank y'all. My niece been coming here for the last couple times. Now she be on. Is she on, She probably on the Zoom now. I didn't know my niece be on the Zoom more than I preach. She used to come here before. I never did something that she heard about. Christ will sanctify your faith. Yeah, I stutter. My niece is a nice girl. But see, my niece. Protect you when you're a fornicator in your house. Don't nobody come to this church and you talk slick about. Let me help y'all with something. When y'all in them bathrooms, ain't no insulation in between them walls. I'm here to help you. Let me help some of y'all. Some some women don't pee with the feet on the floor. They lift the feet up. No, y'all think I'm talking funny. But some of y'all have been in that bathroom running off to get your mouth. And folk have overheard what you have said and have left the church. Everybody don't leave church because of my crazy preaching. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 
Sometimes you entertain angels unaware. We don't look down our sky to set up a prayer, set up a nose at people who don't do what we do. They come in here for a reason. They might want to do what we do. spend more money on your toes than you give to your church. Some of y'all are like, wow. Some of y'all, and I, I'm trying to be blunt. Some of y'all wonder why you can't get over the head, over the hump. Let me tell you why. Because you give more money to an unjust God than you give to the God of your salvation. Stop what she's doing in the middle of your toe, in the middle of your big toe and the little toe. And she's going to waddle her tail over to that bowl. And she's going to replace that grapefruit with an orange and light another incense, then come back to your toe. We was, we was in, honey, where was we at last week? Chicago. Because y'all know, if y'all know my wife, y'all know my wife, we got great relationships. I got video. She gets off the plane. She got her earbuds in. She just. She's not aware of her surroundings. She got this big old coach bag. It's open. Somebody asked 
Oh, because you, you had a building to do. When last time you just said, God, you've been good to me. Honey, come here. Are you doing something? Come here, little sister. Ask her why she look good. for me. He designed the woman to be who she's supposed to be to the man. So I said yes because I recognize my role and responsibility in this marriage. But I said, okay, God, we here. What we going to do? And I prayed a prayer. And I said, Lord, if it is your des- if, it, if it's your desire to for us to continue in this marriage, that we keep going.
real quick, because she's nice. Everything I do, I do for this woman and y'all and my children. I don't, I'm, I've enjoyed my night. We didn't have none of that. We didn't have none of that. Just she was broke. Jay was rich. She was rich. She was broke. And to know me is to know. I've always been able to put my hands on some change. I've marked the change. But man, she had to. No, I mean, because we got caught up in the marriage. You know, we never missed payroll, like, on any business. So I back her up against the wall. If y'all can relate. Because none of y'all ain't been there. Because we ain't probably been there like that before. And she, and she knew there were things that I desired. Because my thing right now is, if something happened to me today, she ain't going to have to want for nothing another day in her life. My sons ain't gonna have to want for nothing. And power and praise, y'all gonna be straight. I just need y'all to work with me. That's all. I'm trying to do some things now to set the church up where some of y'all can come off your second job. I just need y'all to work with me. When she, and, and, and one thing about me, I am a visionary and I'm a faith walker. I don't ask her how much we got, how much can we spare. I just do it. I called our real estate agent the other day. I said, the two houses I'm going to send you the address. Tell me what you think about them. He told me what he thought. I said, I want both of them. He said, how? Cash. We don't have it. She prayed. I don't know what she meant. If I was praying or not, I prayed and I fasted. She said, you don't want to eat? I said, no, we need to go out to eat. Two days later, you don't want to meet? No, we don't go out to eat. Depressed, crying. But y- you, you would never have known. I was still me. Hear me. I need y'all to hear me. I need y'all to hear me. If we can do it for the ch- no, for the children of Israel. you don't walk with it, it's because you let someone stop you from having it. I'll let nothing separate me. Nothing. Nothing. Not a second.
you at home right now? I don't know what camera you're on, but if you're at home right now, turn it off, man. Take that which belongs rightfully. Get your house this year. Get your credit right this year. Some of y'all afraid to even look at your credit. Can I give y'all this free one real quick? G, can I give him a free one, G? G, G, G and Cleo pay for it, but but can I give him a free one, G? Yeah, he said that's not right. Can I give him a free one? Some of y'all, if you just call the credit report agency and tell them take all them extra addresses off my credit report, your credit report will shoot up. If you've lived in multiple places, all them addresses, it says to the bank that you're unstable. That's free. You didn't even know that, did you? Yeah, y'all busy wanting property. Y'all, y'all busy wanting God to come in a hundred. No, get your credit right. Get your name right. in the military ass so when I looked at my credit I had Guam I had Texas I had Newcastle I had Dover I had Dover I had Magnolia I said I don't live in none of them can I can I stop G or can I go on if G say stop oh that's right Lexi oh hey let y'all pay for the mental security if y'all say stop I'll stop all right I got to stop I got to stop just let me give him this part. Let me let me give him this part. Nigga, but, but can I just give this one part? Okay, okay, watch this. Watch this. Watch this. And I am proud of that too, because nobody else behind y'all get what y'all got. Lexi, do I get you without Malachi? Tony, do I get you without Micah? So no Micah, no Shawnee. No Malachi, no Lexi. No Lamar, no Avery, right? No Gavin, no Cleo. So if I pull all these addresses off my credit, all the stuff on my credit that was attached to that address got to go with the address. Some of y'all should have been shouting right now. God, we thank you today for what our ears have heard and our hearts have felt. We thank you for who you are. God, I pray right now, help us to understand the assignments that you have for our life. God, help us to be what you've called us to be. We are your people, God. We are the sheep of your pasture. God, I want to pray today for those that have lost their mother, lost their grandmothers, God. Comfort us in our moment of bereavement and moment of grief. Let us know you're too wise of a God to make a mistake. But God, as we prepare to go into this next week, help us walk into our divine destiny and our divine calling. It is our prayer in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you all. We'll see you next week.